Hold up. Hey YouTube, Baltimore Ant Gamer here, and today, if I can set my camera up right, it's gonna make it too hot. Uh, let's do here. We'll do this. Bam. Today, I am setting up the do-it-yourself uh, formicarium outworld, whatever you want to, all like in one. So going to be doing this, talking to you guys a little bit about what I see coming up the next few months, especially since uh, it's going to start hitting the slow season soon uh, for ant keeping. I only say that because just nothing uh, really flies, at least in North America. Other parts of the world, um, you're probably just starting up all right so got some scissors cut this stuff off hopefully that's what i was supposed to do if not i just uh just uh just cut something off i wasn't supposed to so uh so yeah we're getting kind of into slow season especially for north america um still be having a bunch of videos for ants um I just moved my Paganomer Mex Ant out of her house and into her giant terrarium uh, just last night. So she is getting acquainted to that, and once she once she's uh, fully in there, I'll probably do another video show you guys her. So. Okay, so I remember this. So I, uh, ant keeping enthusiast channel that I'm on on Facebook had a raffle for one of these kits. I completely forgot about it. It's been that long. So um, I got the yellow one. Yellow. Um, I don't know why I got the yellow one. I don't think any of the other colors really appealed to me. Is there an orange one? I don't know. But, uh... Yellow is pretty bright. Nice and bright. Glare! Um... But yeah, so I'm just peeling this tape off, by the way. Just peeling it off. Um... So I moved my Pogo. Um, I'm still trying to decide on what I want to do with my Monomorium. If I want to move them in the Casitia or not, or if I want to use the use it for the Laceus colony I'm getting, or for the I'm getting my Laceus colony. Well, I have the queen right now, currently in founding. Uh, my Fina Gasser Marie. I want to use that for them. Um, those are the two species, two ants that I'm currently interested in. All right. Um, Man, this stuff is... What is this? Just... Hope... I don't know if I was supposed to take that off or not. Um... It's off now. There's that. I don't know what that's for. Apparently it looks important. Um... All this freaking... Look at this. Look at this. All this freaking paper you gotta peel off, like... So obviously machine cut good for them if I had a machine I'd make a whole bunch of them too sorry I was just uh, looking to see where my pogo went she she's uh, in her little Formicarium that Thomas Yegi, I can't pronounce your name right, made. I can't get this off. I guess I need like nails. I don't really. Um, that's like a 
Okay, now look, 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 more, more, more paper to, to peel off. Ah, man. So, what I got coming up? Besides uh, Pogo videos, uh, my Phenogaster Fulva videos, and my other videos, I am going to be doing a series on IDing, IDing ants. Um, a lot of people are always, you know, asking for IDs and uh, other stuff. Um, I haven't really been in the whole ant thing for very long. I started in February, but um, it's kind of easy, especially with um, how common some of these ants are. It's pretty easy to find what species of ant, or not species, but what, what family, what genus of ant you have. And then once you find that out, it's pretty easy to figure out um, what species of ants you have. So I will be doing a series of videos on ant IDing. That way, uh, at least for North America and Europe, it'll be easier for us to ID an ant. Especially after you watch the video, hopefully. Um, I teach you guys enough, you can be like, okay, yeah, it's this genus, or, uh, you know, or I already know that ant, that's this. Uh, here's proof, and then you just link my video to them showing them what the ant is. This is going to take me a while just getting this paper off. So once I'm done getting this paper off, I, I'll come back to you guys. Okay? Hey guys, so I was having a little, little difficulty putting this together, um, but some help from my friend Chandler, uh, I, I got it together, I don't know, I'm obviously missing my screen piece right here, apparently it came with a screen, um, not quite sure what I'm going to put in here, uh, definitely can't do... No real small species, just because you never know what they will uh, try how to how they'll try to escape. Uh, there goes the lid. Um, but, but anyways, guys, uh, thanks for hanging out with me, talking about the future of the channel, so on and so forth. Currently working on another video about fly cultures, so. Look out for that, it'll probably come within the next day or two. This way you guys can do your own fly cultures. I know some of your semi-colostral cloines are definitely eaters of flightless fruit flies. Um, Till then, thanks for coming by, watching not me set this up. Thanks guys.